hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm talking about the Xbox slash Bethesda conference. Now, before I get into anything, I just want to say, yes, I was wrong. I admit I was wrong. Starfield apparently is coming as an exclusive to Xbox consoles. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is just going to be a Series X slash S exclusive. I don't think this is going to come out of Xbox One because just, you know, graphics and hardware wise, but it should be coming out November 11th of next year and it will be an exclusive. So it seems like Microsoft is wasting no time with getting these Bethesda games as exclusives. Now, there are so many games here and I could talk about a good amount, but I'm just gonna talk about the main ones that really caught my eye. And let's just start with Halo Infinite because that's the one that I was looking out for. Now, the only gameplay they showed was multiplayer, but the gameplay they showed was good. They even showed some new stuff like being able to seemingly throw a grenade and bring the item to you. It was really good gameplay, but here's the thing. It's supposed to come out holiday of this year. There's still not a release date. That is so weird. I would assume it comes out before Black Friday, but no release date? I'm pretty sure there's a multiplayer beta coming soon. I may try that out. Forza Horizons 5 was announced and it looks really good, but they didn't show much of the campaign. See, I would be more interested in the campaign. It seems like it's co-op because it looked like it was two people playing the campaign, but then they went straight to like free roam mode and free roam mode looks pretty cool because it seems that you can like just start events kind of like on the fly and they even have this thing, I think it's called the stadium or something like that, where you can go and you can create your own races. The race that they made looked uh, like a pretty cool race, no lie, but it looks good graphic wise and the amount of people that seemingly can just be driving around at one time seems pretty big. Sea of Thieves. I like how Rare in this case has combined with Disney to bring Jack Sparrow to Sea of Thieves. Uh, let's just face it, they probably go well together. I mean, you got Davy Jones and Jack Sparrow and stuff now coming to Sea of Thieves, and that looks like it probably would be a pretty fun adventure. And if that's not Johnny Depp, they got a pretty good voice actor to mimic his voice. And we also had Battlefield 2042 gameplay here. Now, you didn't see like a full game, it was just like random clips of different gameplay, right? But my biggest thing about this gameplay wasn't even the gameplay itself. I really like that they said it was 128 players. Yeah, I think they announced, I think I heard Spawnwave say or something like that, or someone say at least, that there wasn't going to be any Battle Royale mode for Battlefield 2042. But when you're playing Versus or maybe Conquest or something with 128 players i don't think you really need a battle royale mode that's basically a battle royale no i know it's not because it's not just about the amount of people but still that's a battle royale of its own kind i believe 128 players in one match that is nice one of the biggest surprises at this conference though was that they announced the outer worlds too yes they actually announced a sequel for The Outer Worlds. I did not expect one to be announced at this conference. And the way they announced it was pretty nice. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Just watch the trailer. But not only are 27 of these games coming to Game Pass, but 17 of those 27 are supposed to come out this year. So if you got Game Pass, you pretty much set for at least the rest of the year. So that's, that was a really good conference. It's good that also, really, you just have to be subscribed to Game Pass to enjoy most of this. And other than that, Microsoft really hit the nail on the head, in my opinion, when it comes to just how they presented it. It wasn't just the fact that they showed so many games. Like I said, it was basically trailer, 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 maybe a little bit of talking, trailer, 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 some gameplay. It was done really well. But what did you guys think about the Microsoft conference? And which one of these games are you most excited to play? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.